It is the first ski of the season. I am so excited for this. I have not skied yet this ski season and I'm doing it for the first time on the West Coast. So, hey y'all, if you're new here, my name is Beanie Queen and today I'm gonna be skiing for the first time near LA. So I live in LA and there is a ski lodge that everyone typically goes to, like anyone that's from LA. So we're gonna go and try it out and see what it's like. I got a nighttime lift ticket. So my lift ticket doesn't start until 3 p.m. and it is currently almost noon. So I'm gonna get ready. It is about a two hour drive from where I live. So it's gonna be like a little mini road trip for today. So right now I'm wearing an Under Armour like dry fit shirt. And I also have these Under Armour thermal leggings that I have had these for years, like I think high school. But I'm gonna pack the clothes I'm gonna wear at the resort or at the lodge like while I'm actually skiing. It is pretty hot in LA, like it is. 60 degrees, which is still kind of warm to me. I am an East Coaster though. So for it to be January and 60 degrees, I'm like, whoa, so hot. This little satin line hat, so cute. I got this little fleece that I bought from Target and then I put on my satin line beanie. I'm probably gonna take it off in the car though. It is actually hot here. And let's go through what I'm packing. So we have my ski coat. These are my goggles. I also have my ski gloves. And then my bib that I'm wearing today, I'm gonna put this all in this Vans tote bag. And then I also have my Ugg boots and my ski socks are also in there. So that's what I'm gonna put in the bag before I get changed and I'll just get changed in the parking lot. And then this bag is gonna be coming with me when I actually get there. So, so I got my black girl matte face sunscreen. Um, I have my neck gaiter. I don't know how cold it's going to be, so I'm going to bring this just in case. And then I have my head wrap that I put over to cover my ears. And then I am going to carry this satin scarf that I'm going to tie my hair in so that my hair fits under my helmet. That's going to go, all go in this bag. My mom made me this bag. It's so cute. I literally love it so much. And it's really small. I'm also going to fit a bottle of water in here too so that I have things um, for when I'm on the slopes and I don't want to like go to the lock or anything like that. So let's get in the car. I wasn't expecting there to be that much traffic because it is Friday. However, LA is so unpredictable and there was traffic here and there. It wasn't too bad though. It took me a little bit over two hours to get there. And this is a solo travel vlog. So I am going skiing by myself. I haven't skied by myself before, but when I lived on the East Coast, I used to meet up with friends at the slopes. So I am used to taking longer drives in my little Honda Civic, but this drive was really nice. I love the views. I actually wish I did go with someone so that I could enjoy the view without having to drive. We made it! Finally, it is time for me to get dressed. I'm gonna put on all of my stuff. I'm in a really tight spot, so hopefully I can do this standing up. So it's not really cold, so I didn't put on a fleece. I just have on my dry fit. And then, I don't know. I just don't feel like I need to like layer up because I'm like kind of warm. Let's go get the rentals. I had such a hard time navigating this lodge. I don't know why, I just got so confused very, very often. I had to ask for help like three times. But I did buy my lift ticket and my rentals and everything online. So only thing I had to do was show up to the rental place and it took me quite some time to figure it out. It was pretty busy when I showed up because it was three o'clock, but people were heading out. So it did empty out pretty quickly. Okay, this one? How is it? It's good. Okay. Took me an hour to get up here because I had to go to the bathroom and to get my rental stuff. I am currently on the lift. It's the first heat of the season. Very excited. I need to warm up, but I mistakenly got on a non-beginner lift, so we'll see how this goes. Ooh. My first run was so stiff. I felt like I had to really get my ski legs back. Like my knees was just not working. I don't know what was going on. I was moving so slow. So I did one run and I don't feel warmed up. I think my legs are still sore from where I class that I did. So I'm gonna go down another blue green ish slope like i'm gonna do a mix again but i really like the view it's really nice up here i definitely loosened up by the second run and it felt really good it felt like i was riding it back again so i was like okay this is good 
and I got back on the lift again because I was like, oh, we are in the zone now. But one thing I always forget about being on the slopes is just how fratty snowboarders and skiers can be. Like, it just really gave me major frat boy vibes from college, so yeah. All right, so I think I am warmed up. That second one was a lot easier. I redid the same one that I did the first time and it felt really good. I just, yeah, I needed some like warm up time. Um, I'm gonna try to mix in some more blues and see what I can do. Oh, the sunset's so pretty. You can also see the lake behind me. Like, what a view. This must be really cute during the summertime. Anyway, I'm feeling good, living better. The second one was really great. I don't know if I can record while skiing because I don't have my headset. So we will just have to see. I don't know. I don't know if I'm that good, y'all. I think this specific lift is gonna close soon because it's not the beginner lift and the beginner lift is the one that's open for the night ski. So I think that starts at five. I'm not totally sure what time, but so far so good. I feel good. First ski of the season feels really, really great. I actually am cold now. Like I'm happy I put on clothes and I'm happy that I put on my night gator because it's like the more I go down and also it's getting dark, right? So it, it also is really um, cold. So yeah, I'm happy that I put it on. I forgot to eat lunch before I left the house. I was so upset with myself and I didn't realize until my stomach was growling. I was like, damn, okay, I really need to get something to eat. So I landed on some chicken tenders and fries. I'm so tired, yo. My legs are fried. I've spent the last like 10 minutes chowing down this meal. I didn't realize how hungry I was until now. I went down four times, but the last run was a bunny run by accident. I didn't mean to do that. I got on the lift and then by the time I got to the top, it was weird. The woman next to me, she was like, you gotta start somewhere, right? And I was like, why is she saying that? That is so odd. It's cause I was on the bunny slope. Like, it was just bunnies, that was it. It was me, her, and a bunch of other toddlers. So I don't know how I didn't recognize it, but clearly I'm tired. I'm gonna go down a few more runs. Probably like two or three, but my thighs are shot. I think coming here after doing a workout class, not a good idea. I've had good ideas and that was not one of them. That was not it. But there's other black people here too. I'm hyped. Anyway, two more runs ish and I'm gonna head out. It's already dark out. It's only five o'clock. But, yeah. During this day, I saw four groups, yes, four whole groups of black people. That is the most black people I have ever seen skiing at a single time. Like normally I only see a staff member here and there, but it was a group of friends that I was eating next to and there's also families that I saw. So I saw three different families and not just like a family of four, like it was like squad deep, like six, seven per family. I was like, oh, we out here, okay. You know, now I remember why I don't like night skiing and it's because I can't see with these goggles on. They are basically like sunglasses. So when it's dark out, I literally can't see anything. I struggle to see, but I also, can't not wear them because then my face just gets all this air. Anyway, I am done for the day. So I'm gonna return my equipment and head on back to the car. I just had to show you how dark it was outside, y'all. Like, you could see the stars. It was really that dark. But the hardest part about every ski day is taking off the boots at the end of the day. I felt like I was wrestling some type of animal. It was so difficult. I was so tired. I could not wait to get back in the car. Back in the car, I put everything away. Today was so much fun, but I am so tired. I am so exhausted. I'm definitely gonna sleep in tomorrow. This was really a lot of fun. So overall verdict is that this slope is pretty small. So there were three gauntlets that were open. Two of them were non-beginners um there are more slopes that but they just weren't open today because there isn't enough snow yet so i don't know if it's gonna snow anymore there, there wasn't a lot of snow i honestly don't think there was a huge difference between the east coast and west coast like the level of snow was about the same as i would see on the east coast so maybe it's just too early it is only january but i still had a lot of fun i met a dad and his son that were from like my neighborhood on the lift which is so crazy um they were super sweet and they were giving me a rundown of other like nearby um places to ski since they're a family they only go certain places but he was like yeah like these are the ones that are closest and you know you should try these ones so 
that was really cool but i had a lot of fun i am gonna drive home so i'm not staying overnight i do have about a two hour drive home it shouldn't be that bad though because um by the time i get near la the traffic should be hopefully have died down by that point but thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you in the next video bye